Welcome to 2022. Hey guys, Ken here. Welcome back to the channel. Happy New Year. Today is January 1st, 2022, and we are now officially in Q1 of the new year, and hopefully it'll be a lot better than Q4 was of last year. I don't know how your Q4 went, but mine was pretty disappointing. I was down about 37 to 39% the whole quarter. But, you know, it is what it is. So, you know, we just got to roll with it and move forward. You know, I spent most of the morning this morning early when I got up just tweaking my YouTube videos. I had to take some links out for things I was no longer involved with and then add some links in. Like one of the things I added in on all my videos was Kim's new eBay store, you know, so people could check that out. And, you know, like one of the things I took out was I decided going into 2022 that I was going to no longer um sell on bonanza now the reason for that is two twofold uh one was the traffic you know i knew it was going to be slow traffic but i didn't realize how slow i looked at the fourth quarter tracking and i think i got like 13 views in three months it was just horrible so that was one reason and another reason was and i think this was the main reason i'm just a sole proprietor you know i'm just a single guy here it's just a lot of work to have to list on three different platforms you know i know some people cross promote and i i i just didn't want to do that because i didn't want the same cards on every um every platform but it was just getting to be a bear to list on you know different cards on three different platforms and like i said when i saw that just absolutely horrific traffic i was getting or lack of <laughs> I decided going into 2022 that, you know what, I'm just going to sell on eBay and HIP, and that's it. Okay, a lot of people sell on just two platforms, and that's what I was going to do. So this morning I went in and I deleted everything on Bonanza that was on there. I took it off the platform first, so it was completely empty, and then I canceled the account. And that was it. We were done. Okay, so that was one change I was making. Um, like I said, I was updating a lot of videos, uh, because of the fact of the decision I made with Bonanza, I had to delete one, um, YouTube video where I talked about it exclusively. And, uh, there was another video where I mentioned it in a couple points. So I went into the YouTube editor and took that, those two sections out. That way I could save the video at least, because that video had like 2,500 views on it and I didn't want to delete it, but. I was able to save, you know, most of it. But, you know, I firmly believe that if you're not involved with a program, then you need to get it off your YouTube channel. You know, unfortunately, a lot of um, people on YouTube, they just leave, you know, old videos on their channels in the hopes to drive traffic to their YouTube channel. But, you know, it's not really ethical, in my opinion, if you are not involved in a program or a service or anything, to continue to promote that because what if somebody leaves a comment and asks you a question about it you know in my experience what's happened and what i've seen in the past is uh, people on youtube will either just ignore the question you know just won't even bother to answer it or they'll write back and say well i'm no longer involved in that anymore and you know the person might think well if you're no longer involved in it why are you promoting it you know and obviously they're promoting it for you know, views and likes and all that kind of stuff. But I just, I just don't do that. If I'm no longer involved with something, I get rid of it. I, that's why I went through a lot. I have a lot of videos on my channel now. And I just went through them and, and made sure, to the best of my knowledge, um, you know, what was current and what wasn't. And the ones that weren't, I just got rid of them. So I spent a lot of time this morning doing that. Uh, what else is going on? Kim's eBay store is growing. Uh, I know she made a goal of like 200 listings, uh, by January 1st, you know, today. I'm not sure if she made that goal. I think she either may have come just shy of it, or maybe she did. I, I just haven't checked her account lately. Another change I made this morning was, I don't know if you noticed it or not, but, you know, I'm trying to work with this new camera that I got for Christmas. 
And uh, I noticed on my last video that, first of all, I was too close to the camera. <laughs> it was like an extreme close-up. Uh, and another thing that I noticed was the fact that the color temperature of the light, the panel light that I have to use as fill lighting on my face, was leaning more towards the warmer tones. And I just thought that's where I wanted it. But when I saw the video, the completed video, it looked like I'd been out in the sun too long. <laughs> my face was just a little too red for my liking. So what I did is I changed the color temperature of the light and made it cooler. So it looks a lot better now. And plus I backed off the camera so I wouldn't be like right in your face. So I had to make those changes. And also I had to add the link to this camera on all my videos on YouTube. So I spent a good amount of time doing that. You know, that was part of the tweaking process of, of you know, being able to, you know, clean that up. And today was a really good day to do all this stuff because, you know, today is January 1st and everything's pretty much closed. You know, the banks are closed. The post office is closed. A lot of the stores are closed. I think there's a couple of uh, convenience stores that have gas stations that are open. I think maybe a donut shop here in town is open, but that's it. You know, there's not much because it is a federal holiday. But uh, yeah, I was doing that this morning. And just having a good time. And then I decided, you know, I'd do this video just to wish everybody a um, happy new year. I really hope going into 2022 that things turn for the better. Um, like I said, I don't know what your sales were last year or last quarter. But uh, uh, mine were, my, my overall sales were really uh, much better. You know, I think I made, I, I tried to bring the stats up this morning on eBay and for some reason, it wouldn't let me go back as far as 2020. I don't know. Maybe I'm just not doing something right. But um, I knew that I made from from the time I started. See, this is a great uh, reason to be in the postcard business because this, you know, postcards are like the number three collectible item in the entire world from what I've read, you know, behind coins and stamps. And um, I know for a fact that um, my first year and doing postcards, uh, I did just under a thousand dollars in in gross sales, and then um, this year, I did as I did like four times that, almost five times that amount, in uh, in in gross sales. So that just shows you right there that a business like this is very scalable, and you can scale it up and make as much money as you as you want to because postcards are something that people love. They collect them, you know. Pe some people use them for historical uh, reasons. Some people uh, just love them just to have them in albums and things like that. So it's it's something that I believe is never going to go away, and that's why I continue to do it. Oh. If you haven't got a 2022 calendar, I've been a photographer for over 20 years. I don't know if you knew that, but uh, I've got mine on the wall over here. And uh, that's available. Just check the links below. I think going into 2022, I just want to just ramp up my listing uh, on my eBay store. And I want to, you know, I've got certain goals, financial goals that I want to meet. And, you know, going into the new year, and as everybody does. Um, I guess that's it. And I just wanted to say hey and hope you guys are having a, a great New Year's Day. And I really hope, I, w I really wish you the best and success in 2022, even more so than last year. Last year was a rough year for a lot of people. You know, a lot of stuff going on in our country and a lot of stuff going on in, in the reselling world. But I just wish you the, all, all the best and success. I really do. And uh, let's just... Just keep going forward and keep our head down and go to work every day just like we normally do. And hopefully things will turn out for the best. Okay, listen, I got to go. But you guys have a great New Year's and a great 2022. I look forward to promoting more uh, videos um, on different subjects here on the channel. So if you're interested in this kind of content, make sure you smash that like button. It really helps the channel and I appreciate it. And I guess that's it for now. You guys have a great day, a great New Year's, and we'll see you on the next video. Take care, and bye for now.